You know what the problem is with computer cases? They're just too expensive. Ugh. Even the cheapest ones, they're like 50 bucks. You could spend that $50 on games for gaming. So today we're gonna show you guys, courtesy of our sponsor, Seasonic, how you can make your own case out of cardboard. And it's a competition. He's gonna show you the worst way and I'm gonna show you the better way. Well, I'm keeping these materials. You piece of. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm on Team Linus, I guess. Can we call it Team Jake? Nope, it's called Team Jake's gonna win because he's with Linus. Oh, I would say that I have a fair bit of confidence in my partner because it's like, the options are what? James, Linus, and Jake? Like, I clearly won in this situation. Are you putting yourself in an unfair advantage by designing the contest yourself? That's a fair question, which is why I sent out the rules and I've shown the judges scoring cards to everybody ahead of time. Everyone knows exactly what we'll have. They know what the rules are. They had last night to Google shit if they wanted to. I know we're gonna use cardboard to make a computer case, but I don't really know anything else other than that. Do you know that you're not allowed to use tape? Really? No tape? How the heck are we gonna... We don't have tape? You said you read the rules. I read the rules, but like... It's gonna be spicy. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at the judging categories. Integrity, we're pretty upstanding guys. Yeah. We should be okay there. Modularity, cooling, aesthetics, and creativity. It looks like he's drawing something that's not a case. It's so, a dog. I want a prancing horse on the top of our case. Cause like, I imagine both of them are gonna be poorly engineered and poorly made and kind of just garbage. So if we can put like a statue on top, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be able to win it. Okay, maybe, but can we do that in the last 15 minutes? No, I think that we should spend the majority of the time on no. a gigantic prancing horse. Do you have any ideas coming into this about um, like a design for the case? <sighs> I don't want to be a team that just tries to win by having a funny picture on the case. This is, this is not how I want to win. If we just do the sort of like panels that are joined together, I think it's not going to be very strong. Um, so I was thinking like regular like cardboard boxes, you know, those like foldy put together ones where you have little tabs. Yeah. I think that would be the strongest way for us to build a case. Okay. Are we able to sit the motherboard on the bottom of the case and then just put like screw, screw, maybe like a third one down here. So it's mostly being held by gravity, but it looks like it still is up. Yeah, I think we could do that. So here's our motherboard back panel, right? Yeah. Okay. So then we need one segment out here yeah. for the bottom. So then there's our next segment Which that is will actually be the same length as this. The side panel. Oh, no, that's not what I was thinking. Oh. I'm thinking building a box that's open on one side and then we affix the side panel because the side panel doesn't need to be structural. <laughs> and then I think I understand what you mean by for like the back and front. Yeah. So we do this and, then, and this nope, and that's then not we what I mean. Fold over. That's what this side was supposed to be, but it's gonna be a little spicy because of what you just said. I was thinking of using a design similar to um, some Corsair cases. There's the front of the case, right? Like the normal box. Yeah. But then on this front panel, that's where your fans are. And then there's another superficial, um, just like piece of square cardboard that's opaque. But in between there, there's an air gap. Mm -hmm. You know that design? Yep. Usually. That's not a piece of cardboard, it's a piece of tempered glass or, or metal or something. Standoffs are holding this together and also holding this out, and we can cut something really cool into this to show through the fans. Oh, that'd be badass. We have lots of cardboard, let's just start building it, and we'll probably learn way more from just doing it. I'm gonna understand if you don't like this idea, is I almost wonder if we should have a motherboard tray, because aesthetics is a factor, and cable management would be better with the motherboard tray. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, let me pitch it. Can I pitch it? Uh, you're... <sighs> I think me and Linus are gonna have some cooperation issues and uh, the other team I think will work a little more fluidly together, so. I'm just worried that it's gonna Kay. make this very complicated. Full-sized motherboard tray. Yes. So it's exactly this size. Um, and then it actually just tabs in on all sides. It's gonna be a really tight fit. This will be the most difficult part of the build but I think it will dramatically improve our cable management. How far offset are we talking? This far off the back panel. It's gonna seriously hurt our motherboard. It's like the mounting durability. Oh man, I don't know, that's risky. 
this can still have tabs. Oh, yes. Yes, there's no reason not wait, to. Wait, wait, no, because that's the bottom piece. Which is fine. I think we just need to start going because it's already been 12 minutes. Holy crap. This is my basic idea for joining all the stuff together. At each corner, we have one of these. So panel goes on like this. And so panel, you're just gonna panel. cut slots into the panel that goes on here? So this will just yeah. puncture through? Yeah, it goes like this. Okay, that's cool. So oh, it'll be, it's like an yeah. internal thing. So the wall will be here and the wall will be here. Yeah. And it's just like a little buttress. So you have like the circular hinge, but you kind of need a pin to go through it. Well, they did say we're allowed to have an iFixit kit. Oh my God, just use the sim. <laughs> they never said that we can't just like <laughs> fill it with iFixit bits. <laughs> I don't know, Linus hasn't been cheating as much lately. I'm surprised at how useful I was. I was sort of expecting to be just the assistant, but I got to make some key decisions that ended up working out really well. See, aren't you glad you have me on your team? Yeah. Who would think of this? <laughs> a, a cheating asshole like you? <laughs> I think James is gonna be like trying to dovetail joints and stuff. Not bad. How are we half an hour in already? We haven't done anything. What I wanna know, is if I wanted three identically sized pieces, uh, how much extra do I have to account for for folds? Okay, so we definitely lost a significant amount of it. I think we've accounted for some stuff that they're probably gonna forget. Yeah. While they try and like and dovetail together. So we've got two walls. They're adjacent to the motherboard. Got their washers. They're flush to the ground. Got the SSD on there. I did do a test fit. I know that I can plug my uh, PSU cables and data into that. And so, cool, we're ready to move on. We definitely should have a post for at least the GPU to stop it from sagging. Well, I thought we could do that by having a back panel that lets this slot in. True, yeah. It was like that. That'll be nicer. Yeah, I think you should cut side panels, see if that they make sense in the thing, then hand them off to me. I'll cut the dovetails and slot them together. I just had a thought. You know how we were so concerned about cutting out fan holes for structural rigidity? This is added in rigidity. Our, our idea of having the double fold, your idea of having the <laughs> double fold, means the whole case can rest around the frame. Mm hmm yeah. So we're not even worried about that. No, it doesn't even matter. We do a square hole and a round hole. <sighs> Good point. So we need to start cutting. Yeah. And just so you know, I still want to make the horse. You still want to make the horse. I still okay. want to make the horse. Well, our computer would benefit from some horsepower, so why not? I'm not I'm not saying no. The only problem is that I can only draw cows well. I can't draw horses. Well, why not use a cow? I just had a realization. I yeah. think this might still be doable if we ax the basement, okay. at least as part of this piece, because then we don't need or that. Yeah, uh, we're going this way now. Yeah. Let's put the fucking side panel on. Let's keep going. We'll just keep oh, going. Oh my god. Uh, Wait, no, we can't, because we need to fold it over. Yes. But if we didn't fold over one of them? Uh, I don't like that. Well, I don't either. Linus is a smarter guy than he portrays a lot of the time, but he's also very stubborn. So if we come to a disagreement about something, I think it could be a problem, but we're also just gonna have to push forward because we're limited on time. So. No, we can't do that because this is the tab. Like, it's gonna be droopy. That's what holds the, okay, yeah. fine. That's the structure. So you just want to deal with it later? I don't want to deal with it later, but I don't think we have a choice. Okay, so we use some leftover fan screws. But then our problem is, screw it into what? The cardboard. We haven't left any, ta we haven't left any the, cardboard. They're just through tabs. Those are not, mm, I don't like them. This is the back of the case, but pretend it's the front. We're gonna have to have fans, and then that like stick out thing we wanted with the air gap, and I just don't know if that's gonna be wide enough for that. The frame on the outside, we can just, we have standoffs left, exactly like that. Just cut another one of these that just sits with the panel in it. I'm stressed out right now. We are an hour in. Yeah, I guess just, just give cut her it. a cut. Send it, right? Fine. Worst comes to worst. Okay. If we screw something up, we can just sharpie the entire case. <laughs> I was very impressed with how me and Linus got along. Um, Shoes off, boys. Oh my god. Oh, look, don't like I, I don't like it, but I have to work on this. What do you want from me? I think Jake and I worked together really well today. Yeah, we're just going to have to support this within the case, basically. I don't know how we ended up with all this space up here, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my biggest concern about this point is I'm afraid that the motherboard just isn't going to stand up. We didn't really. We cut it before we had this system down. I just am afraid that there's not enough meat on it. As a partnership, I don't think we worked great together because I think that the other team was a more of a team, whereas he and I 
agreed on what we were gonna do and then just kind of worked alone to do it. And there were times that I didn't really know what he was doing and he didn't really know what I was doing and, I, and we were just kind of doing our own thing. I do think that if we make like a part that goes up here and like angles in both directions and it's just held in like that, especially if it's dovetailed from both sides, it should work. You guys have one hour now. I feel like on our side, for the viewers, it's really gonna look like we're no. just not doing anything until the three minutes where we like, <laughs> don't forget, we still need to build a computer. Right? Yes, I know. Holy Yes. This is hopefully going to hold up the motherboard. It's also the first completed like dovetail structure that I have. And it's really important that it works because if it doesn't, our motherboard might fall over, which would be really freaking bad. One hour remains. I really want to fold this together and feel like we've actually made some progress here. It's not going in. Oh no, come on Alex, give me the good news. This is not gonna hold it at all. Okay, we need to post then. 30 minutes! Okay, it's a little wide on that edge. We can shave some off though. Nothing we can't work with. Okay. Abs. <laughs> Holy crap, we have a PC case. Woo! It, it's a box. Well, my post works. That was actually the part that I was most concerned about. Now it's time to start just doing it. We're 24 minutes. We don't have anything in the case yet. 24? Oh, these are not going together nearly as well as it did in my test piece. Here we have this nice panel gap. It's a feature actually for better cooling. Um, I am very proud of this myself. Yeah, it's actually pretty close to right on. We are no longer doing the thing where we were gonna have like the square cut out on the inside for the fans and the round cut out on no, the no, outside. No. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Hands are in. Okay, hey, we're getting rid of this part. Rip. Ah. The sunk costs. Yeah, Mr. James, I hope it's okay that this back panel is gonna suck. At this point, it just needs to get on there. I can actually use, I can have more integrated design where I use what I built before, and then I just bend this around the corner, and it holds up the GPU. <laughs> oh, that's yours? Uh, 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 there you go, take that one, I got this one. Nobody look closely at this window. <laughs> just what, like eyeball it? Like I don't- Just eyeball it, it doesn't matter, just go for it. Six minute and nine seconds. Yeah, it's not helpful, Andy. We are straight up not going to finish. So is there a time penalty or what? Yeah, ours is just as shitty. Well, I didn't say ours is shitty. It's just not done. Well, ours is like done. It's just shitty. in like a some sort of a way. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, no, we're, we're not done, so. Stop! <laughs> well, I mean, I'll put okay, we need to make down, a decision. We're not done. How garbage out of 10 is yours right now? I'm a level with you, I have nothing. Okay. It's not garbage, it's just not there. Yeah. We have like <laughs> a case, but it's like a case. Extra half an hour? <laughs> I know how to draw a cow, sort of. Holy, this is sick. Oh, it's way better than I thought it was. Reginald Milkmaster. Yeah. Here, we, can I we're just- We're not gonna get this in here without taking it out. Can I just see? Can I just also, see? Also, there's the fans, which is gonna be a whole other thing. Can you just it. humor me? No. Can, can I just out. see? No. Can I just see? I wanna oh, see! You suck. Okay. I just wanna see. I think okay, you be might gentle be with the GPU. pessimistic. I was expecting? Wait, brilliant idea. So let's pull it out, unfold the fans. Yeah, that opens up the entire side. Oh, Jesus. I might have put the lines on the side oh, that's supposed minus. to. Yeah, it was a bit of a. How did you screw that up? If it helps at all, the ugly window will be exactly as nice as we were hoping. Did you just lay it on top? Nice, nice, nice. No, no, just just jamming in a bit in it. It's not that crazy. Just do it. I don't care. We don't have to. Well, I, I can't reach it. You got to do it. <laughs> oh. <gasps> He's lost it, ladies <gasps> and gentlemen. We gotta put oh, these. Oh, uh, uh, a back panel. Back panel. We don't have time. Just go for it. No, top, 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 top. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you even doing? <laughs> oh man, what didn't go wrong? I mean, we put lines where we didn't mean to, we cut things we didn't mean to, we overlooked entire components and where they were gonna go. 
Uh, our SSD is just, well, it's in there. What we have is kind of a floppy mess. Uh, it's got elements that I think are good, and it may still win. I don't know what they built over there, but I know they had trouble. They're gonna lose, okay? My first thought seeing their case. Oh my god. Oh shit. We're actually up against something here. Holy crap. I thought theirs was gonna be way crappier. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. The this motherboard is, is just sitting on it's that? It's just sitting on I hope. The, I hope the judges notice this. Does that shit. even count? Like. <laughs> Will it fall apart if moved? Is a requirement in integrity. Our team has integrity. So if we lose, we're gonna lose with integrity, Jake. <laughs> Confidence level that I'm gonna win. Got two words for you. LTTstore.com. When I first saw their case, ah, god damn it. Right away, I was like, Shit. Right away, it's a little more like I had intended mine to be in terms of it being a square. Pretty goddamn boring. Kind of surprised they didn't draw anything on their case. They must have been like really not done at the three hour mark. Wait a second, what the hell are these? Are those from an iFixit kit? Is that allowed? Oh, they started using the double-sided tape. That's so gutty. This Le seems like legitimately cheating. Literally cheating, yeah, but it's Linus, so what do you expect? Judging was a mixed bag. I thought Colton was way too generous. I thought that uh, Sarah was way too generous. I had no idea what she was gonna say because she came in as a graphic designer, not because she was applying to a highly technical position, but we wanted an alternative perspective. This one, it just seems like the parts are kind of in there. I would be afraid to move it. Lots of space to maneuver. You got lots of air ventilation there. Does it look nice? I mean, if I was six, <laughs> probably looks sick, dude. What would you call that? It tantalizes your brain cells when you look at it. Like you, you see that cow there and it like stirs something deep in your groin. Three out of five. So that gives you guys a score for me, uh, 18 out of 25. It's pretty jank, TV. <laughs> Could extra fans, drives, or expansion cards be added? Could a different PC be built inside this case? Absolutely, as long as you don't expect to mount it anywhere. <laughs> the layout of the intake and exhaust, I think, is pretty much spot on. Okay, does it look nice? Aesthetics. I gave you a three. Where you lost points, for me, is that sunken I.O. It is so difficult to get at that I.O., and I think that that removes pretty much all the aesthetic goodness that you packed in there. <laughs> Instead of front I.O., there's a picture of it. <laughs> I gave you a two. <laughs> Total comes to 14. It'll do in a pinch. You could pinch it pinch off. It off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would love to see everything flush with this side where it's kind of like on the inside. So there's a lot of extra space that could be filled, but with it being placed more on the inside, I feel like all of that room is taken up. For aesthetics, <laughs> it's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I, they even had a window for their SSD. I'm surprised the judges didn't look at their SSD window. Uh, we didn't even have an SSD mount. Our SSD was just jammed behind the motherboard tray. The top lifts off, so obviously there's a problem there, but it's SpaceX and SpaceX lifts off, so uh -huh. sure. Overall, my rating is 18. All right, integrity, four out of five. Yeah, it looks like you can actually move it. Granted, I couldn't quite see exactly how things were mounted on the inside, but from what I did see, it looked solid. It has a motherboard tray. Damn it, nobody noticed our motherboard tray. <laughs> a five out of five for modularity. Really? I feel like you can do lots of things with that case. I'm sure you can mount some other stuff, you know? Aesthetics gave you guys a four out of five, just because everything is so symmetrical. The only thing that was really weird, were you guys drunk when you were cutting that, the <laughs> hole in the back there? If by drunk you mean we had a minute left, then yes. Oh, yeah. okay. One minute left. <laughs> <laughs> Very safe choice. Going with that folded origami style was Ingenious, and it looks so clean. That is a grand total of 19 yeah, woo! out of 25. Okay, okay, that's good. As far as integrity goes, I think you're a pretty good guy. <laughs> Not until you learn how you cheated. These are all materials that were provided by the contest organizer. Shut up! Like the whole thing looks a lot more solid than the um, the space box over here. Yeah. Okay. Modularity. <laughs> so like, there's no mount point for a rare fan, for example. For cooling, 
I actually originally gave you a three for this. There's no exhaust, except that open vent actually does push a lot of air. It was upon realizing that that I changed to a four. Mm, nice. That brings us to a total of 18. I would say that this case is serviceable. <laughs> this is really close. If I was to pick a case out of either of these, I would probably pick yours. It looks a lot cleaner. One thing I was really proud of was managing to have no marker lines on our finished case that were visible to the judges. You could put more stuff in there. There's enough room if you wanted to. For <laughs> aesthetics, I gave you a 4.5 out of 5. It looks really nice. It's not bad. Uh, for a case out of cardboard, honestly, I'm kind of impressed. You get a 19.5 out of 25. Oh, you win. <laughs> yeah! Can you show them how it can be lifted up and moved oh. around? Whoa, whoa, would you look at that? Okay, so let's just let's just take a look here before we, um, it's attached with double-sided tape. Double-sided tape provided by the organizer. Hey guys, can we agree that we should have a piece of double-sided tape for the, uh, the RGB mounts since they're supposed to be included? I would normally have this double-sided tape, assuming this hardware was new, and that's exactly what I would do. I would salvage some from here and, and use it there. I just came up with an alternate use later. Mm. Now that I think about it, he obviously had no intention of sticking his RGB thing. He wanted that tape for the window. And he, and he thought of it at the 11th hour. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The power supply is <laughs> not mounted. Look at it. Oh, the fans are still alive. Yeah, but once you're inside, look how awesome this bench is. Let's take off all the parts that have any double-sided tape on them. And let's have a look at this kind of structural integrity we've got here. God damn it, it's so good. I didn't think either team was gonna be able to build something this functional without any tape when you first told me about the challenge. But hey, now you guys know that if you too are stuck with nothing but, you know, a big piece of cardboard, a hobby knife, a straight edge, a square, and I fix it kit, some double-sided tape that you can And a positive out of attitude. The, and a positive <laughs> attitude. You too can build your own case. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, of course, big shout out to Seasonic. Look how convenient this is too. I can just grab the sponsor's product and show it to you guys uh, for sponsoring this video. Those guys are awesome and they enable us to do all kinds of cool, fun projects like this. So go check them out at the link in the video description. That's the last thing you're gonna need to make your cardboard case. Some freaking focus. <laughs>